Hi, welcome to this demo video. I'm excited to tell you that we have launched multi straddle strangle charts in Sensible. This has been a long pending feature request from several of our users. In fact, this is a request that came from many great traders all over the internet. Our Twitter user base, our support tickets, everybody asked for it, and we are just happy that we finally have released it, right? Uh, but before we do that, uh, let me just quickly tell you what is coming soon. Um, you know, uh, because the first version is beta, there's a lot of improvements. So the first thing which we will do is we'll introduce the candlestick charts for straddles and strangles. Um, we'll add trading view support all across Sensible. That's coming soon. Huge, huge, huge update. Uh, we are going to make all prices real time in multi straddle strangle chart. I mean, if you look at Sensible generally in option chain positions, sorry, option chain orders, um, uh, several places the prices are real time. But in our multi straddle strangle charts, currently it is one minute. So we'll make that also real time. We'll add chart resizing, popping into a new window, rearranging all of that jazz. We will add OI curve overlay of the straddles along with the straddle charts. We'll add moving averages, etc., for analysis. We'll add IV chart overlay. And right now we have it on desktop and the mobile app. You can download the app if you're a mobile user. We still don't have it in mobile browser web. That also we'll be adding within a week, right? So a lot, a lot of things coming up. All right, so now that we have discussed what is going to come up, right, let us um, jump to what we have right now. So you can see this is the straddle strangle chart, right? So the first thing you will notice here is, let me just get it full screen. So how do I access it? I can go to analyze on sensible and access multi strangle straddle charts from here and the best thing is it's free for now free for an indefinite time we haven't figured out when to start charging for it it, it turns out that we are not in a hurry to monetize it so we'll keep it free for some time so if you load multi straddle strangle chart the first thing you will notice is that this is the main graph right the one on the top it shows um, nifty it shows um, some curves right so we have added some straddles by default, the current ATM straddle, the one next to it. Then we have added a couple of strangles also. So let me just uh, delete a couple of things, right? And let's focus on what is here. So what you see here is uh, one straddle which you have loaded, which is 18,150 straddle, because Nifty is right now around that ATM. And then you can also see 18,100 straddle. This is one selection. This is another selection. <clears throat> the first thing, of course, you will notice is that the pink line represents Nifty, pink dotted line, the orange illuminated line, which looks like a neon sign of a nightclub in Berlin, no less, is the uh, uh, chart of the straddle, right? If you change your selection, the purple neon light becomes the other chart of the straddle. Another thing which also happens here parallelly is that you can see whatever straddle or strangle you select, that straddle or strangles uh, details come below in the graph, right? So we'll explore this graph further, but I'm saying that there is a main chart which shows all your straddles. There is one chart which focuses on one particular straddle you have selected, either this or this. And then there is a call OI and put OI of the straddles you have selected, of the strikes which are in play for your particular straddle. So if you select this 18150 uh, straddle, this is 18150 call OI, this is 18150 put OI. Similarly for 18100, this is 18100 put OI steadily increasing and this is 18100 call OI steadily decreasing, right? So let's make it more fun. Let me add a couple more ch charts. I'll add a single leg put option also. So let me say I'll add a, so for that I do custom and I'll sell the 18100 put right and that is one more chart i have added so you can add charts you can do other things right you can do straddles custom strangles custom uh, you can do uh, spreads like for example if i do 18200 18100 put sell and 80000 put buy now i have a spread running right uh, i can do a lot of things uh, also there are dynamic stri strikes which is I can do things with respect to an ATM. So I'll just show you what, what I mean by that, right? If I click dynamic strike and I select straddle and I select ATM straddle cell, 
this will keep on adjusting the strike as and when ATM changes, right? So plenty of things you can do. I'll strongly suggest you to explore it. But for ease now, let me just hide many things here and focus on one or two straddles, right? I'll just hide this and let me have only one straddle and only one put set. It's just to keep things easier. By the way, this straddle chart is also present in the live option charts. It's just that we wanted to have a dedicated focused page for uh, straddle strangle charts alone. So this is the straddle strangle chart in um, live, char live charts. And if you click on this in the live charts, it opens the multi straddle strangle chart dedicated page. Right now, now let's look around what is present in this page. You can see our this is a new selection. Uh, I'll just go to our older selection here. Right. <clears throat> so the first thing you will notice is let me just go on. Okay. This is the time frame selector. You can select several time frame here, keep on adjusting things. If you click on intraday, it will zoom in only for today's activity. You can do this here, time scrubber. It will enlarge or reduce the time frame. You can also shift it left and right. I mean, obviously, there's a setting for dark theme and not. And you can click on this right button that takes you to the rightmost extremity of the current timestamp. And it keeps updating real time, I mean, one minute timestamp every time a tick comes, right? That is number one. Now, let's also look at the uh, uh, functions inside the menu, right? So, obviously, you can uh, click on, so this is interesting, right? So, let's say that you have a straddle, 18100 straddle, and you want to analyze it. You can click on it, and it directly opens Builder, where you can see the payoff diagram of this straddle you are buying or selling, right? And it, that's very useful, right? Because this is not too much. Oh, actually, 3000 rupees left in premium, not bad for today's expiry. Then, what you can also do is you can edit this. So, basically, if you want to change your channel, you can edit this, you can delete this. You can also invert the prices, like basically, it flips the chart in the reverse direction. That's not very commonly used, but it's what it is. Also, every time straddle changes, strike changes, you'll see an outdated warning here. You can change that using this, right? So, that is all. Now, uh, another thing which you can do here is in this detail chart. So, let's say that you are interested in 18150 straddle. So, what can you see in the zoomed out, zoomed in chart of this? The purple line is a strategy price that I am showing here. There is VWAP here, which is the yellow line. The individual prices of 18150 call and 18150 put are also plotted here in red and green, right? So, what do you get? You get the strategy's overall price, strategy's VWAP, the calls price and the puts price. What else do you have here? You also get the calls OI and the puts OI, uh, which is pretty useful if you're trading the straddle. You can see where the market is likely to move and you know adjust your trades accordingly, right? One last interesting thing I'll highlight is if you look at this graph, you can see four lines, right? The strategy price, strategy VWAP, 1850 call, 18150 put. Now, if you want to focus on any one particular line, you can hide the others like this, right? And that is, that, that just focuses that and gives you like, what is that one individual line doing? For example, the strategy price. Or if you want to just focus on the 18150 price, you can hide and select like this. And the same applies here also. So right now I have loaded Nifty, I have loaded the straddle and I have loaded the 18100 put cell. So if I don't want to see, let's say, straddle and I only want to focus on nifty movement and put price movement, I can hide the straddle like this, right? Um, so now it shows me how nifty moved along with the put. So, so this is a very new feature. You will keep on seeing more and more improvements and updates to this feature as and when we receive user feedback. And please do give us some user feedback. There's a link here for this. We'd love to hear from you and improve this for you. So this concludes the demo of this one. Um, please let us know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.